everybody. Hope you're having a good day today. It's been a busy day here. We've been cleaning house. Wish you could smell my shirt. I have Motivate on to help me get through with the house cleaning in time to do my live video. Um, also, make sure you check out our March challenges that we're running this month in our group. You can be entered to win samples of the products that are featured each day if you complete the challenge and then post underneath it that you have completed the challenge of the day. So I want to give a shout out to Tina and Heather because they completed the challenge yesterday and they will be receiving sample packets of Deep Blue Rub. And Deep Blue Rub is amazing. It's one of my favorite products. Love it, love it, love it. Well, we're going to be talking about basil today. And in researching for this video, I have learned a lot about basil. It's an awesome essential oil. It's in the mint family, as well as lavenders in the mint family. It's steam distilled. Its main chemical constituent is linalool. And Linalool is in the monoterpene family, but what I learned about linalool is that it is crucial for the body in the production and the utilization of vitamin E. And we all know that we need vitamin E. It's one of those ones that's kind of difficult to get, so basil is good for that. And linalool is a very strong anti-inflammatory. It has also been shown to be effective at reducing stress in laboratory studies with, with rats. So it's found in the basal essential oil, the single oil. It's also component in the Aroma Touch, which is the massage blend, and the Past Tense, which is the tension or the headache blend. Hey, Stephanie. Stephanie says she needs basil. I need basil, too. I actually don't have any. It's going to be on my to-get list for next time. I don't know why I haven't gotten it yet, because basil is one of my favorite spices to cook with. And I'm going to give you a recipe here in a minute to use with your essential oil. When you're cooking with essential oils, typically just a toothpick drop worth, not even a whole drop, is all you need because the oil is 50 to 70 times more potent than the herb is. So, some properties of basil. It is a stimulant. It's a neurotonic, which means it is good to help heal the nervous system and to tone it. It's steroidal, regenerative, and antispasmodic, and anti-inflammatory, like I said already, and antibacterial, and a digestive. So, I learned that if you have a fever and you need to induce sweating, you can apply basil to help start the sweating process. Also, it's good if you think you have adrenal fatigue, you can apply it topically to help wake up your body's electrical system and help regenerate and recharge your adrenals. You can use it for an earache. It is good to combine with wintergreen or peppermint for migraines to apply to the temples and the back of your neck. It's good for mental fatigue if you diffuse it. And it helps to energize the mind. It's, as I said before, an antispasmodic. So if you have um, leg cramps or muscle spasms, it's a good one to apply topically to your spine and the bottom of your feet. It is safe to internalize as well. Uh, it does have a note here, safety recommendations to dilute if you have sensitive skin, to use with caution in pregnancy, and if you have epilepsy. And it has a note here that it can be act as a relaxant if it is overused. So just blow 
with my mind. It, it can mentally energize your brain, but at the same time, reduce stress and relax you. It's good for, um, very good for bug repellent, uh, mosquitoes especially, but you can use it to, uh, to diffuse in the area to keep bugs away, or you can spray it, mix it with some water and put it in a spray bottle and apply it to yourself and your clothes to repel insects. And it's good to apply topically if you have a bite. Also, uh, another use is for nausea um, and menstrual cramping. You can take it internally in a little bit of water or in a veggie capsule. And you can also apply topically to your abdomen or to the muscle where you're cramping. Now, emotionally, basil is good for using it aromatically and topically. If you're feeling inundated, basil will help you to move to feel relieved. And so then lastly, I'm going to finish up with the recipe. And I will type it out underneath. Um, strawberry basil dressing. It takes six frozen strawberries, one and a half tablespoons of water, two toothpicks of basil essential oil swirled in to taste, and one toothpick dip of liquid stevia to sweeten it, or more if you need it, and a little bit of salt if you like. So it says defrost the strawberries just enough to soften them for easy blending and then coarsely blend. In a small bowl, add the essential oil and the stevia to the water and the swirl. Then add the water mixture and the salt to the strawberries. Blend well to make one serving. It's great on spinach in lieu of poppy seed dressing or a sweet vinaigrette. So there you have it, basil essential oil. Hope you, that makes you think a little bit about basil. It's going to be on my list to get soon, and hopefully it'll be on your list too. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.